Hi, I'm the Octopus Lady, you're watching Alien Ocean, and let's talk about Magna Pinna or Big Fin Squid again today, shall we? And I've already made a video about these squid before, so this is going to be like a short little update because I heard there was some new footage that got released of a Magna Pinna squid that's supposed to be scary, but I'm sure it's fine because if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that Magna Pinna squid aren't scary. I'm sure people are just exaggerating for effect and, um... Uh, oh dear. Uh, can you all excuse me for one second? Hi! Hi, hello, is this the Magna Pinna Squid? Hi, this is the Octopus Lady. Yeah, yeah, good to talk to you too, but uh, listen man, I just saw this new footage of you and it doesn't look good. It's really creepy and unsettling stuff and I am just wondering why we were not informed of this video before it got released because we went to bat for you man. I put my best PR people on your case trying to make you seem more approachable. We likened you to being made out of plain spaghetti in our first video about you and we even talked about you in our vampire squid video saying you were a harmless little football and this new video is kind of undoing all those hours of work we put into- wait, wait, no, you- you said it was okay to say that stuff about you. You signed off on that. No, no, we really need to talk about this now. This is a PR nightmare, man, and we are losing control of the conversation the longer we- Hello? Hello? <sighs> Sorry about that. Just, uh, just needed to make a quick phone call. Anyway, so I'm sure a lot of you are here because you want to know what this creature is doing in this footage. And I'm going to be completely honest with you straight out the gate. I don't know. I have no idea what it's doing. I've seen some comments from people who think that this squid isn't doing anything. What they think happened here is that one of its filaments got caught in a turbine of the ROV that recorded this footage, and then it got swept up in a current when the ROV tried to move away. And I don't totally buy that. I've been in contact with Tahoe Deep, which is the YouTube channel that originally got this footage, and shout out to them for letting me use it. And okay, first off, they say that this squid was 40 to 50 feet long, and if that's true, then, I mean, they'd have to be pretty far back to get the whole squid in frame, right? Wouldn't they? And it does seem like ROVs need to be really close to the squid in order to get them all discombobulated, like you can see in this video. And in this video. And also, when those squid got all caught up in a current, it didn't look like this. This looks different. And this movement here is what I'm getting particularly hung up on, because it looks like it's shortening the length of its filament to shoot it back out. And I don't know if water currents can cause the appendage of an organism to physically retract, you know? But again, I want to emphasize the I don't know part of that sentence. I'm just speculating here. That said, I also don't want to definitively say it's attacking something either. I've seen some people say that it's likely attacking the ROV, but that would be extremely unusual behavior for a big fin squid. In all the footage I've seen of them, they don't seem to care if an ROV gets all up in their business. And in fact, as I mentioned in my first Magna Pinna Squid video, researchers have intentionally bumped into them with an ROV to get a reaction, and they wouldn't react. They just keep floating there. So why would this Magna Pinna squid be the one that's all like, you'd best step off ROV or you're gonna catch these filaments or whatever, when we've never seen another Magna Pinna squid do that. I've also heard some people comment that it must be attacking prey, but it, it's like, what prey? Where? There's nothing in the water. And we aren't entirely sure, but we think that big fin squid eat zooplankton that they catch in their microscopic suckers, and if this is how they react every time they catch, like, a copepod or something, this is so extra! This is so over the top! Like, whatever few calories it was going to get from that zooplankton, it just burned it all off with all this nonsense. But again, I want to emphasize, I could be wrong. And if you believe one way or the other, I'm not going to argue with you. Like, seriously. If you leave a long, detailed comment, 
comment talking about all the reasons why you think it's definitely attacking something or why you think it's definitely just caught up in the current, I'm not going to read it and I'm not going to respond because the only thing that's going to convince me one way or the other is more footage of Magna Pin of Squid. A lot more footage because one clip doesn't prove anything. Good science draws conclusions from lots and lots and lots of evidence. And we don't have that right now. Not for these guys. And I know that will change in the future, but until then, I am confident that I have no idea what this Magna Pinna Squid is doing. Anyway, thanks for watching another episode of Alien Ocean. And yeah, I know I said I wasn't going to release another video until mid-April, but you know, this footage dropped and I couldn't help myself. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Check out our old videos and my Twitter and my Patreon, where you'll get early access to videos and or your name in the beautiful credits. And until next time, this has been your friendly neighborhood octopus lady reminding you that you don't need to go into space to find aliens.